Hello, I'm Laura Garcia, and uh, I'm a member of uh, Saint Lot Balancer. Uh, we have been load balancing uh, with IP tables, and now uh, we want to present a prototype uh, of load balancing with uh, NF tables. With this, uh, we want to uh, take advantage of all the um, uh, improvements that uh, NF tables could could provide. So our goal here is to uh, perform a high, load balance, high performance load balancer at uh, layer four. Maybe in a later edition of NF, uh, NetDev, we could provide a la layer seven uh, content switching load balancer. But um, firstly, we are going to, to show some solutions that currently we, we could use. Uh, first of all is uh, Linux Virtual Server is uh, commonly uh, known uh, package. Uh, later, uh, we could use IP tables, and now we could see how NF tables could could provide uh, a very high uh, performance load balancer. Uh, giving just a brief review of LVS, um, LVS provides a feature complete um, versatile schedulers. Uh, provides uh, several forwarding methods, um, tunneling, SNAT, or, or direct routing. Uh, also provides integrated health checks. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, implemented in a, another layer on top of NetFilter, and it's mostly a kernel code base. But with uh, IPA tables, uh, we could provide a load balancer using extensions, x tables extensions, uh, we could uh, set uh, forwarding methods uh, as uh, SNAT or DNAT, uh, depending on the transparency we want to, to use. Um, we have to match packets and then forwarding, or even uh, match uh, the mark the packets uh, before forwarding. Um, uh, also, the backend health checks or real server back, uh, health checks will be uh, provided from user space. So here's a, a first approach of uh, the uh, a diagram that we have to, um, we have been using during those uh, years. First of all, we have a user space, user space diamond. Uh, it's a rule set manager and health check diamond. Uh, we use uh, some health checks from uh, to the real servers uh, at different layers, but uh, we have to set uh, some IP tables commands uh, sequentially. So sometimes this could be a problem. Uh, from kernel space perspective, we have to mangle in some uh, complex uh, infrastructures, uh, and then not uh, the connection in order to redirect or forward the, the, the packets or the, the connections to one backend or another. But with NF tables, we could uh, use the, the infrastructure itself of uh, NF tables, NF tables libraries, NF tables virtual matching and its uh, native instructions. So we don't need uh, extensions. Uh, additionally, we could provide um, dynamic rules, which uh, allows to, in just one rule, provide a load balancer. And the uh, atomicity is quite important because uh, we have to, um, uh, to set or to load all the rules uh, in the same time. So we are going to avoid side effects uh, that we could face with uh, IP tables. Another improvement is that no matching or marking packets are needed, so the performance is going to be um, very well. And uh, we, will, uh, we have uh, several forwarding methods, the same forwarding methods that IP tables is able to, to provide. <coughs> This is a, a diagram to, to explain um, this behavior. From user space perspective, we have um, the rule set manager and health check diamond. 
uh, to check uh, at different layers uh, the real servers. In just uh, one NFT script, we are able to load atomically those rules, just um, just updating the NAT, NAT table in kernel space. This will provide much more performance than with uh, IP tables. Well, what, what are the features we want to accomplish with, um, with NF, uh, load balancing with NF tables? First of all, the schedulers, uh, the main schedulers we have to, to implement is uh, the wrong robbing, weight, or list connections. This is the most popular ones um, used. About the persistence, uh, it's important to have uh, persistence uh, by source IP. And as for warding methods, it's not and the not in order to perform transparency or not. Regarding the health checks, uh, will be moved to user space uh, through a diamond uh, in order to um, perform uh, some health checks at different layers. And of course, uh, NF tables will provide a very good integration with uh, quality of service and filtering. So this is great. Uh, now we are going to see some use cases that we could we could show here. For example, a round robin load balancing with LVS is quite quite easy. Uh, we have a virtual IP and a single virtual port, and then we have to set um, the the scheduler and both uh, real servers. In this case, this is a basic basic uh, basic case. With IP tables, it's uh, quite easy because we have just to set one rule per backend uh, and using the match statistic. But with NF tables, it's uh, much clearer because uh, we have just to create, to create a chain, a per-routing chain, uh, link it with the hook per-routing, and then just with one uh, rule, we could we could create a, a run robin load balancer. The dynamic rules uh, is quite important here because we, in one just rule and creating a map, we call uh, we could uh, switch uh, one one connection to one real server or another. In the weight uh, case, with LVS is quite simple because we have just to change the, the scheduler and setting the uh, static uh, weight for every every real server. <coughs> with IP tables, it's, uh, it's quite easy, but uh, we have to maintain two rules. We have to use a statistic match with random mode and setting the probability for each rule. With NF tables, it's quite easy because we have to use a, a random scheduler here and then creating a, just a map with a certain uh, weight here, static weight we could uh, switch the connection from one real server or another. Uh, the multiport case is uh, a little bit complex for LVS because uh, we have to use IP tables in order to mark the connections using the multiport match. Uh, and uh, with the mark that uh, the connections uh, we had to. We want to to load balance. We have to create a virtual service using this mark. With IP tables, we have just to include a multi-port match and the list of ports that we want to load balance uh, layer four. But with NF tables, this is quite easy because it's natively uh, integrated. So we have just to put uh, the list of, of ports or list of uh, IP address that we want to load balance at layer four. 
this will be the base. So um, in this uh, in this case, the weights are statically configured, but um, we could perform some comp more complex uh, schedulers using the weighted, for example, weighted list connection, weight weighted list uh, response. Uh, we will see later. Uh, the persistent IP persistent per source IP is quite important. Uh, with LVS, it's quite easy because it's uh, fully integrated. We have just to uh, set the parameter and the timeout. With IP tables, is uh, a little bit complex because uh, we have to set three at least three rules per backend. And, uh, this approach has some problems because we have to, firstly, we have to mark several times in order to ensure that the, the packet is marked. And then uh, in the Mangal table, and then just in the NAT table, we have to uh, forward uh, to, the, to, a, uh, to a certain real server. Another problem is that we have to maintain with the recent match we have to maintain two lists of uh, source IP address in order to know the persistency for each backend. With NF tables, this will be much more clear because uh, we have to create, firstly, we don't need to match the, the packets. Later, we have to create a map uh, with the association of source IP and uh, real server IP. So we don't need to, to create several lists per real server. And we have to um, just set a timeout for every entry. Once the per routing chain is uh, linked with the hook per routing, uh, we have just to look up the source IP to the, to, into the map. If the, is this match is uh, matches, then go to the catch catch down table, which is just directly the NAT to the to the backend uh, assigned. If the list doesn't exist, if the source IP doesn't exist in the list, then we will uh, set up uh, the scheduler, and then include in the map the new entry. As I said, this is the base of the of more complex uh, behavior of schedulers. For example, the weighted list connections. The weighted list connections uh, could use the same the same base, but uh, instead of using the static weight, we have to um, create in the within the diamond the user space diamond. We had to create a dynamic weight uh, using the NF table script that we are going to gather from the contract table. From the contract table, we have all the information of uh, how many connections, established connections, we have in the for every real server. Another example. is the weight, weighted list response. Uh, in the user space diamond, we have several checks, health checks, that we are going to uh, gather the time that uh, these health checks are, are being uh, executing, the less, the less uh, response uh, backend will be the most higher uh, weight for, in the case of the in a table script with the weight scheduler. And similar case for weighted list CPU load, we'll check through SNMP, for example, the CPU load of every backend. If uh, the lesser CPU load backend will be the higher, we we'll get the higher weight in our NF table script, which will be, uh, will be loaded. Um, atomically, so um, there is no 
no problem. We will have to uh, an updated protein nut uh, table, uh, uh, very safe. Well, uh, what is the the work to do here? We has we have to implement some minor changes to NF tables. Uh, random with uh, it seems that uh, currently there is a, a patch, NTH for round robin, and some maps enhancements in order to perform correctly the per IP persistency. The user space diamond uh, will be the most uh, workload to be done. Mm, in order to perform the health checks, different health checks at different layers, and the dynamic weight for uh, in order to perform a correct list con weighted list connection, list response, or list CPU load scheduler. Some conclusions of this talk. Um, first of all, we, we want to simplify the kernel infrastructure. Uh, in this case, we want to move all the complexity of load balancing that currently is done in LVS package uh, into the, the user space. Consolidate the kernel development uh, in terms of uh, avoiding some duplicated work. Uh, for example, uh, LVS has its own uh, extensions or um, ha uh, handlers. Uh, that which are different from from IP tables or NF table, but the 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 behavior is the same, so it's uh, quite uh, strange. Better per maintenance of the source code and native LV support for NF tables and for the for the kernel. And finally, with this uh, approach. Uh, we will have a unique app API for networking handling. So we will use NF tables for um, quality of service filtering, but also with uh, load balancing. Okay, thank you. If you have any question. Did you have some um, moments of regression between solution you have presented? Sorry? Um, have you done some benchmark to compare a solution you have uh, been talking about, like um, uh, IPVS and like tables versus uh, NF tables? Well, there is uh, some studies from universities and our own testing uh, is quite more performance than VS. Uh, he was referring to uh, in between IP tables and NF tables. Ah, oh, no, because uh, this is a prototype. Uh, the recently patch uh, has been done maybe yeah, there this, there this week, so. so. What, what about LVS versus NF tables? I mean, you showed you're doing usability is better with NF tables. Actually, if you repeat the question, maybe. <laughs> you definitely have better usability, but what are other uh, things that you're doing better than NF tables and LBS. Performance, maybe? Performance? Is better, uh, is better with what you're doing? Yes, and also uh, with LBS, uh, there is some duplicated work that, really, for example, is done in the contract. So we could avoid uh, yes. to do the same thing twice. Right. So the performance is better. Yeah, but well, yeah, Laura told me that if we they were comparing the performance between IP tables and LBS, and IP tables was also performing LBS. Oh, okay. so <coughs> this is this is better. With with IP tables, so. Oh, with the with the big one. With it, with the with the wall set. Okay, so this should be better then. Yes. Performance. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you.